Here, she oversees development and implementation of learning events, development, production, and distribution of knowledge and resources, and provision of avenue and knowledge creation, agriculture, and rural development in Southeast Asia. She was the first dean of the College of Development and Education at the University of the Philippines, Los Angeles, from 1999 to 2006, upon its elevation to a college from, from an institute that was earlier under the College of Development. Here, she taught me as well as as well as engage in research and development and the practice of development and communication. She holds a PhD from Macquarie University in New South Wales, Australia, and has a Bachelor of Science in Development and Communication from New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Maria Celeste Abigail. Welcome the organizers for being able to gather you all here. I was looking at the program with the list of uh, registered participants. I suppose some of them have left, have they? Well, uh, oops, sorry. I'm pleased to present to you our upcoming project, the Southeast Asian Agri Museum and Learning Center on Agricultural and Rural Development which we describe or we subtitle as Marveling at the Foodscapes and Lifescape of Southeast Asia, reflecting on their challenges and hope and foreseeing their future. This is an invitation. This, we are inviting partners in our quest to establish this uh, agri-museum This description of the Agri Museum experience is a work in progress, which we uh, consider the only one of its kind in Southeast Asia, focusing, that is, on Southeast Asian agriculture. The Learning Center will be dynamic by design, providing allowance for updating and shifting of emphasis every five years as the needs of agricultural and rural development, or ARD, in Southeast Asia changes. In addition, the Agri Museum will serve as a dynamic platform of partnership in the development community in addressing contemporary, contemporary issues and challenges and advocacy of relevant solutions and actions in agricultural and rural development in Southeast Asia. This implies the, necess the necessity of the learning center becoming a proactive knowledge management initiative of AR on ARD, or Agricultural and Rural Development in Southeast Asia, with a dynamic research plan integrated in CIRCA's core programs. The Agri Museum is seen to complement a total experience offered by the campus of the University of the Philippines Los Banos and other institutions in the Los Banos community in living up to the municipality's label as a science and nature city. Uh, we are aware that Erie is uh, revitalizing its rice world and campus has uh, our Museum of Natural History and Dr. my colleague, Dr. Tixai tells me it's not one place but several places that the full museum on campus. And we hope the College of Agriculture will offer the, the live in the field experience through its, uh, uh, it had this agri-tourism site, but it has to revive that. So given its limited space, the Agri-Museum would largely be virtual, capitalizing on advances in information and communication technology and featuring a few artifacts, dioramas, mock-ups, and models. Now, the rationale of the uh, museum, Agri-Museum, is that, as we know, agriculture remains the backbone of most Southeast Asian countries, with approximately 450 million people relying on it for livelihood and food. However, this important sector 
faces a myriad of challenges, including unabated population growth, climate change, land degradation, and dwindling natural resources, coupled with an aging farming generation, and sadly, a decreasing interest among the youth in agriculture as a field of study and a source of livelihood. The question now is, where will our next generation of farmers come from? In the light of these challenges, the ASEAN and the ASEAN Economic Community, we believe that agriculture will continue to play a pivotal role in the development of the region. Hence, CIRCA wants to put a face to agricultural and rural development in Southeast Asia and bring to the public consciousness, especially the youth, the challenges it faces and its importance to overall regional development. In response to this important call to promote an appreciation and awareness of the plight of agriculture and rural development in the region, CIRCA, a senior center for agriculture, conceptualized the Southeast Asian Agri Museum and Learning Center in Agricultural and Rural Development. It will be an alternative education, education facility that aims to advance the science and practice of agricultural and rural development, promote awareness on and appreciation of the state of agricultural and rural development, and stimulate discussion, learning, innovation, and collaboration for inclusive and sustainable ARD in Southeast Asia. And so with this, we invite you to view uh, a four-minute video on our project. It is a elevated status of agriculture in the region to the Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research in Agriculture seeks to dramatically present the collaboration among scientists, farmers, and development workers through the Southeast Asian Agri Museum and Learning Center on Agricultural and Rural Development. This includes research and development, graduate scholarship and institutional development, and knowledge management initiated, undertaken, and enabled by CERDA. The Agri Museum extend service work in agricultural and rural development, reiterating its commitment to advance and to bring ARD into the public consciousness, where decisions are made about the future of the region. It will promote awareness of its state in the Southeast Asian Ministers of Education Organization, and show and stimulate innovations and collaborations, as well as discussion and learning for inclusivity and sustainability. The Agri Museum also ventures into the possible features in the field in Southeast Asia, catering to many publics with a focus on the next generation of professionals, leaders, and champions in ARD. The Agri Museum was conceived as a temporary space to unfold visitors and knowledge crucial to understanding the future of ARD in the region. It will sharpen comprehension of the ARD landscape from the uplands to the lowlands, to the coastal communities to present the cross-ecosystem character of Southeast Asian agriculture. It is a museum space that will allow encounters with issues and challenges in ARD that all its stakeholders have to face, who are all seeking new methods to address current, relevant issues. Stakeholders can then draw guidance and inspiration from cutting-edge work to expand the range of possibilities for ARD. With the expanded imagination, visitors literally walk into the dimensions for a better future for the people of Southeast Asia. Each of the 11 nations working with CERCA has a different cluster of future-oriented projects. And throughout the region, there have been pioneers, visionaries, heroes and heroines of ARD, each with a distinctive impact on the state of agriculture. The Ag Museum will draw visitors into a field of evidence-based advances in ARD.
born of an institutional commitment to the common good. It also benefits from new ways to deliver experiences and ideas through digital media, while allowing for maximum flexibility in updating exhibitions as opportunities and challenges evolve. There will also be a workshop area, a meeting room, a reading room, a rooftop garden, and an exterior that adds to the educational experience. It is an alternative modality of knowledge sharing on ARD, where Circa would abide by global museum standards, an agri-museum that all ASEAN countries may tap to advance knowledge creation and sharing in ARD. Strategically located to provide an opportunity for collaborating with other museums and research institutions in the vicinity, the agri-museum is expected to become an instrument of public awareness for ARD as an exciting frontier where the destiny of Southeast Asia will be crafted by future leaders in this field. A region which, after all, has the potential to provide food beyond its borders. So we actually invite everyone to be a partner in this project. And the update is that, well, UPLB has granted us has approved the use of the land, which is an extension towards the parking lot of this building. And we have received a grant from the Philippines uh, Department of Agriculture, but that is only for a part of the, the building construction, and therefore we have to work hard to raise some more funds to construct the Agri Museum. And, uh, there are now negotiations with the architectural firm, but we already have a curatorial firm uh, working on the design. And in fact, the sketches you saw in the video have been updated, and the updates are in our website. Uh, just uh, Google Agri Museum Circa, Circa Agri Museum. The estimated cost is 1.8 million US dollars, including what is inside, everything. And uh, contributions may include financial, material, archaeological, historical, intellectual, and other kinds of resources. And we are also soliciting from the Southeast Asia, the, sub the CEO member countries. So we invite everyone to join us in our drive to build the Agri Museum. And inquiries and expressions of interest may be addressed to yours deeply. Thank you so much.